What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another Marvel Future Fight video. All right, so in this one here, we're gonna be taking an early look at Nova Richard Ryder. So yeah, we do already have a Nova in the game, but that is Sam Alexander. So this is going to be Richard Ryder. So we have the kind of more grown up looking version of Nova here. Um, and we are still on the pre-update version of the game. So this is the APK. So with that comes the standard disclaimer. This video is brought to you by Netmarvel and the Content Creator Club. And everything you see here is still subject to change. We can still have changes in the stats, values, buffs, and any of that kind of stuff. So keep that in mind when I am showing you uh, Nova here today. So let's go ahead and take a look at him. So we hop on over to the skills here. Uh, his tier two passive is going to be increased guaranteed dodge by 20% and he gets 25% skill damage and 25% bonus damage. His first skill is going to be a channeling skill. So he just kind of uh, buzzes around a little bit there. You can move him around with the uh, joystick, which is nice. He gets a guard hit on that. Uh, the second skill has some all defense down, which is nice. Stacks up to minus 40%, ignores immunity. So it will work on world bosses. Uh, the third skill here, is uh, going to be his skill that's going to be really, really good for PvP because it is the ignore targeting skill. It is an iframe as well, which is fantastic. It has 80% chance to penetrate super armor barrier, shield, damage, immune, and invincibility. So yeah, this skill is going to be super, super strong in PvP. So we're going to have another uh viable option here for your pvp teams he gets super armor and all defense on this up to wow that was 100 percent all defense i didn't notice that the first time i was looking didn't really seem to help him when i was trying him out a little bit in pvp but he is only level 60 and i was going against tier threes when i was trying him out in pvp so that definitely makes a difference there um, the fourth skill is going to give him a buff, which is going to be all attack, all defense, or wait, the all defense is only plus 1%, so never mind, just 25% all attack. Um, the fifth skill here, he's going to have some more all defense down, this time it stacks up to minus 50%, so that's fantastic, going to be a little bit better for uh, dealing with world bosses, he gets an HP recovery. Uh, it was only 5.5%, I thought it was a little bit more than that, but yeah, he gets a small HP recovery there. You get some more all attack and this time some all defense plus 30 percent a little bit of all speed and then 30 percent crit rate which is nice to help cap out his crit rate and some damage immunity on that um, his passive here is going to be a um, kind of support passive for the whole team or i guess all just hero allies he gets some ignore dodge 25 percent so we now have another character or a hero here that can uh, buff your ignore dodge when he's on the team, which is fantastic. If you're kind of using up your striker spots for a little more survivability, like you actually need it for healing with anti-venom or something like that, you can pop him into the team and then still get your max ignore dodge. Um, and then he increases damage dealt to super villain types by 40%. So he's going to be a really good support character as well. His leadership here is going to apply to all hero allies and it's going to be a 30% increase of energy attack. Um, which is kind of weird. I thought it would be a little bit higher than 30% since it's applying to just hero allies. But um, I don't know. I guess that's what he's got. Uh, let's go ahead and hop over. Right now I have overdrive on him. And I have ACTP of destruction just to try him out. Because I wanted to try him with a damage proc. Um, he doesn't need the guard break immunity. He has enough iframes. And then the only skill that uh, doesn't have iframe that you are going to be using in your rotation. The fourth skill here does have invincibility. So he's not not really going to get guard broken at all he's really safe to play uh, which is fantastic so now uh, let's go ahead and take a look at him in combat before we jump into the uh, world boss content here uh, i forgot to mention that he is going to be the deluxe pack character so he's going to be available if you purchase the deluxe pack here so he's going to be the same as magneto psylocke invisible woman uh, you're going to be able to unlock him there you get some of his biometrics as you go through the uh, missions here and then you should be able to farm his biometrics like i said i can't buy the pack so i can't tell but you should be able to find his uh, farm his biometrics just like uh, magneto invisible woman psylocke and all of them so that's how you're going to be able to unlock him so now let's go ahead and hop into the world boss fighting all right so here we are at uh, call obsidian we're going to be taking him in here with no strikers uh he has energy damage of course so that's why we're going to be trying him out here i'm um, using the same team i was using actually with dark hawk just to make things a little consistent so i could kind of see how all of the new characters compare against each other uh so yeah let's go ahead and load in here and see how we can do 
All right, so we're gonna try to proc on the fifth skill. That's where we wanna get our damage proc. Then right when the fifth skill's done, hop into the third skill for the iframe. Then you go into the fourth skill for the um, uh, invincibility. And then you can use the second skill for the iframe if you wanna stall for a second there. But the invincibility from the fourth skill will carry over. So you can just stand there and stall for the fifth skill and then just hop into that one if you want to. Um, but if you use the uh, second skill, of course, you can get a little bit of extra all defense down right there so it'll start to apply it and then you can just kind of build it up more with the fifth skill and get a little bit of extra damage that way so yeah you can do whichever you feel uh, is more comfortable for you for the rotation but yeah there we go you just don't want to accidentally proc of course on the second skill that's the only uh, downside there because the fifth skill is on a uh, yes, yeah, I think we missed it there, is on an 8 second cooldown, so you're going to be overlapping a little bit with the second skill, so now I can just do that nice and quick, and oh, never mind, it procs, so now I've got to wait for it to uh, come back around here, alright, so let's go ahead and use the fifth skill, um, his fifth skill does uh, lose tracking quite easily though, so that's one thing that you're going to have to pay attention to, especially in timeline, it gets cancelled out very easily, even if they do like a very slight iframe, if they get a little bit too far away from you, uh, then the fifth skill just like loses its tracking and you will uh, have it cancelled out, and that is one of the main reasons I was dying quite a bit in timeline when I was trying him out, is I kept getting cancelled or my fifth skill kept just canceling out right there, like when he does the initial like burst of energy at the start of it. Um, I was getting canceled out right there and just left standing there in place doing nothing, so yeah, that was uh, a little bit annoying, but as you can see, his damage is actually really good, so his damage is a lot higher than um, Darkhawks, which I guess is to be expected. He is a deluxe uh, pack character, so you'd expect him to be stronger than a kind of free-to-play character. Uh, and I'm just playing a little sloppy there. I was just slowing, but yeah, you got to be really tight on the rotation if you want to get him protected the entire time. So like the fifth skill, right when he's landing down after shooting those beams, you're going to go right into the third skill from there to make sure there's no gaps between uh, the iframes. And then you're going to go right into the uh, fourth skill when you're towards the end of the third skill. And then you should be protected with the invincibility for when the fifth skill comes off of cooldown. So overall, he's looking pretty strong here. He has really good damage. He's gonna be a really strong character for uh, PVP. I just need to get him to level 70 to really see how he'll perform against tier threes. But right now, he still does okay at level 60. Um, there, I was doing the timeline battles for uh, the epic quests there. And if we go over here, hold on, uh, for the epic quest and I was just having it on auto right here. So I was just going like this and I was clicking auto and I was just using the pre-built team that they had because it didn't matter if I won or lost or where is it? Yeah, this team right here. And one of the a few times when I looked uh, back over, Nova was actually fighting a tier three uh, Jean Grey and just surviving like he was locking her down this once he started getting her guard broken uh his skills he had enough hits to just keep her perpetually guard broken while the ai was playing with uh and over there in autoplay but whenever i tried to play him manually i wasn't really having much luck um against gene it just wasn't really working i was using um if we no switch my teams please go back over here to what team did i have him on there we go um right here I wasn't really having as much luck playing him manually. I kept getting my fifth skill canceled and then uh, Gene would just obliterate me. So yeah, I think it's just getting him to level 70 so he has a little bit more survivability. And then let's wait for a cooldown. Oh, and we got clipped here. So now we're gonna have to wait until we die. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and lock down this Gene real fast. So let's do this, switch on over and then we'll go into our fifth skill. Oh. See, it gets canceled out really easy. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna go here. Then if we get our fifth skill, then we start doing some pretty good damage. Go into the third skill. Go, oh, she died. I was gonna say go into the fourth skill. And I was like, what is going on? All right, so we messed up there. We're getting our fifth skill canceled out a little too early and we died. But as you can see, there is potential there for uh, Nova. And that's just against Gene. Of course, he can do a little bit better against other characters you get some locked down but gene has a guard break that just hits you continually when she does that fifth skill so uh yeah but anyway that's just an early look at nova there so let me know what you think of him if you're excited to pick up nova or if you think he's going to be a little bit too a little too pricey for the deluxe character 
uh, this update, but yeah, he looks pretty good to me. So I'm excited to pick him up when he comes out, but that's going to be it for this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And of course I will catch you in the next one.